What's up you guys? It's your girl Unique the Iconic and we're back here with another makeup video for you all. This is my everyday makeup routine. This routine is great for people who are just in a rush and need that natural look or you know you're just wanting to get ready to take some bomb photos and you want to look natural as possible. So first things first, we're taking the Sasha Buttercup in light. I use this and put on my eyebrows to block any oil so that it's a better application of the product. Then we're just going to brush them all into place with our spoolie brush and make sure that they're aligned right and exactly how we want them. Now with the Sasha Buttercup, I didn't know that they had a light one. So when I first discovered it, I was like, oh yes, it's so lit. It's super bomb. Now we're taking our Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Pomade in Chocolate. I love, love this color, you guys. It's just perfect. It's not too dark. It's not too light. And the color is a universal color. I feel like you can use it on dark skins, especially to give them that faded eyebrow that a lot of people have been tend to going crazy over lately. Now, when I apply my eyebrow pomade, I like to go and use this method where I just draw my bottom line first. And then I lightly apply, apply product on the top part of my brow. So it's kind of more so like a gradient effect. So it doesn't look too harsh and it looks super natural. And of course, it's just a quick and easy guide to be able to do your eyebrows. Of course, as you can see, you just drag it down. Now I'm just gonna use my same brush. And I'm just gonna kind of brisk the extra product on top of my eyebrow. Now we're using this Absolute New York Radiant Cover Concealer. I really love this concealer, you guys. It is so bomb. Like, it's so cheap, and like I just started using it, and I just have fell in love, and it works as a great eyeshadow base. I'm also using the 07 shade, which is the lightest one that I have on the bottom, just for that natural kind of highlight glow. And then I'm gonna go on top and I'm gonna use number 11 so they can blend in with my skin tone and so my eyebrows won't be looking like they have a complete halo around them, which we don't want you guys. That trend is over with, let's move on. Now we're just going to go ahead and blend out everything, make sure that it's all together. Now we're using my favorite, favorite primer, you guys. You know I love this primer. It is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I love it because it helps um, block my pores so you can't really see them through my foundation. Now I'm using the Black Opal Liquid Foundation in Nutmeg. You guys, it took me forever to find my shade in this foundation. Like, literally, it took me about three shades or three bottles to find my exact shade now my foundation applies light at first but it definitely warms up i'm pretty sure that's how all the foundations are because after a while like the foundation will darken up a little bit just to warm up to your skin tone so you have to be very careful when finding your shade in this foundation now when i blend my foundation out especially when, I, when i'm not doing a makeup look i put the foundation over my eyes because i just want everything to look as one and i don't blend all the way on my forehead because of course as you can see my forehead is darker than the rest of my face so now I'm taking the Fawn Concealer first. I put that on top because like I said, this is a natural look and we don't really want that super bright highlight right now. And of course I just put it everywhere and then I'll take the Warm Honey and I'll put the Warm Honey just a little bit on top of the Fawn just to brighten it up a tad bit. Now I'm using this Real Technique Setting Brush. This came from a holiday collection. You can get the normal brush at any local store that sells Real Technique brushes. And I'm just using this to blend out all of my concealer. Now, I do have two different setting brushes. I don't use the one that has a liquid product on it or any powder product on it to blend out the concealer because you do not want that kind of look and make it look cakey and just really bad, you guys. So make sure both of the brushes are clean, whichever ones you use for the powder or for the concealer. Now, just blend it out and just be careful when you're blending you know you don't really want it to get everywhere and spread too much so be careful and make sure you kind of stay in place now i'm taking this same concealer and i'm blending it over my eyes as well now we're going to take the black opal foundation stick in carob i'm i believe that's how you pronounce it 
I use this as the contour because it is bomb, you guys. Like, it's so, so good. I feel that people should definitely look more into the Black Opal Foundation Sticks. They kind of remind me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Foundation Sticks. Honestly, this is a perfect dupe for it, honestly and truly. <laughs> and I'm going to take the buffing brush. It's from another holiday collection from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to blend it up, up into my highlight i really really want this to blend you guys like i said this is a contour and it's also a natural look so we want everything to be as one now we're going to go ahead and blend the contour foundation or whatever you want to call it we're going to blend that into the skin we're going to press it into there because you want it to look right then we're going to go ahead and blend it downwards on our forehead so that it can blend well with the foundation that we just applied because we don't want that look, especially when we take our pictures. And it's that super bright line that, you know, you see when you take your photos. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Now we're going to take my e.l.f. contour brush. We're just going to blend up and down, up and down. We're not going to blend going downwards on the side, but up and down on our nose. And I'm going to blend this same contour into my eyebrows just at the beginning because I got kind of like that faded eyebrow thing that's going on right now. Not really sure what they call it, but hey, I love it. It looks really good, especially on my natural everyday beat. Now we're going to take that same brush we used to blend out our concealer and just pat the rest of the concealer on top of that contour to blend it out to make sure it doesn't look harsh. Now we're just gonna blend out everything with a damp beauty blender. I mean, you want your beauty blender to be as damp as possible. Like you want it to be freshly damp, if that makes sense. And just gonna blend out all of the contour, the concealer, the foundation all together. Just make sure that it is one and that we are looking right, honey, and bright to perfection. Now we're taking that same Sasha Buttercup setting powder and we're going to just set our whole face wherever we put concealer. As you see you guys, this is like the bombest setting powder I've had in a long time, especially close to the Ben Nye. Of course, those who know that I love my Ben Nye. And it's just so beautiful. Now I'm only setting. I am not baking you guys. I am only setting. This is a natural look. We don't want to bake. We only want to set. Now we're taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Muted to Tan Contour Kit. I'm just going to kind of press that powder onto my contour areas just to make sure it doesn't move and that it stays in place all day. Of course, on our nose, just brisk it everywhere. Now we're taking the Becca Highlighters. I'm using the Topaz first. I love this color, Topaz, because it is so universal. It's great for dark skins, and it looks super, super bomb and lighting whenever you take photos. Then I'll just put the Champagne Pop just a little bit on top of both of those highlights. Now we're using our setting spray just to set our face and now we're grabbing our mascara from Smashbox. I got this for free as a sample gift from Ulta. Um, I believe it is a super fan I, if I'm not mistaken. Now we're taking our favorite lip liner. Y'all know I use this in almost every video and we're going to go ahead and line our lips. This is my go-to liner you guys. Love, love, love this liner. Same way Leah J loves her brown liner, I love my brown liner too. Now we're taking these brand new lingerie lip glosses from NYX. Like y'all, this is my favorite new lip gloss. This is the shade Sable. I love this lip gloss. Like it is not sticky. It's a nice consistency and it lasts for a very long time. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure y'all subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.